Hey, welcome back to science. Today we have just a simple lab. Our ultimate goal here today is to define the words hot and cold. Now I know what you're thinking, dude, I've known what hot and cold meant my whole life. I think it's actually a little bit more than just a temperature. I, I, I don't want to set a temperature for this. I think there's a little bit deeper meaning and I think the demonstration that we're going to do here today will help explain that. This is a great one because you can do this at home. You can do this for yourself. You can set this up for, so, so, for some of your family members. Setup is pretty straightforward. I've got two buckets of water. We'll get to what their temperatures are later. And then I've got a, a couple of baths. One bath I'm making out of hot water. In the video you're about to see, I made the bath water a little bit too hot. I had it at 50 degrees Celsius, which is probably a touch too warm. If you do this at home, just use the hottest water you can get out of your tap. That will probably be good. Make certain it doesn't burn anybody. For the other bath, we want it as cold as you can get. Do more than just take cold tap water. Add ice to it. I've got some snow from outside right now. In the video, I had added water. I got the temperature of this bath that, you're, that you'll see to about one degree Celsius. And again, this one I had at 50 degrees Celsius, which was a touch too warm. What you'll do is you'll have the person hold their hand in one hand in each bath, as long as they can tolerate it, 30 seconds or so. Then they take their hands out and they put them in the, into these two baths, these two buckets of water. Their job is to determine the temperature difference between these two buckets. In other words, which one is, is at the higher temperature and, if possible, by how many degrees. Let me go find a victim. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We brought Ms. Perium to help us. Now, just to review. She had a science teacher in high school who's one of those Nazis when it comes to metric system, so I'm pretty confident she knows the metric system. Is that fair? Yes. <laughs> of course she does. I'm going to have you step behind here, please. I have on the outside some glass bowls. Mm -hmm. the, the one on that side is very, very cold water. This one is very, very hot water. Don't burn yourself. Okay. I'd like you to Put your hands in there and soak them in there for for 30 seconds or so. Didn't you just tell me it's hot? <laughs> it, it is hot. It, 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 well, that's why I say be careful. <laughs> Figure most people are tougher than me when it comes to high temperatures. Get your hand all the way under if you can. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's what I... <laughs> okay, fair enough. If you can go for a few more seconds, that'd be that'd be great. Okay. Which one is at a higher temperature? This one. Can you tell about how many degrees warmer? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> go ahead and put your hands in those two buckets in the middle. This is the one that's really big. Which one of those two buckets is at a higher temperature? The blue bunny, which is your watch hand, or the Kemp's, which is your bracelet hand? Like which hand is colder? Which bucket of water is at a higher temperature? This one. The, the, the Kemp's is at a higher temperature. Yes. Can you tell about how many degrees warmer it is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rough guess. Uh, 15. Okay, 15 Celsius or on that useless Fahrenheit scale? <laughs> the useless Fahrenheit scale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which means around seven degrees, seven or eight degrees Celsius, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, cool. If you could take your hands out, please, and then if you could put the two probes into each of those big buckets. And we're going to take a look at something. Did was, you predict? He was my science teacher, by the way. Did you make the prediction? Those two buckets are at the exact same temperature, but she just said that the one was 15 degrees useless, warmer than the other. <laughs> and that's our science fun for the day.
All right, let's review what just happened. You, and again, actually, it'd be even better if you go ahead and try this for yourself first, because then you'll really understand. If you hold your hand, one hand in cold, cold water, and another hand in hot water, then put those hands, you don't even need two buckets, put them into room temperature water. The hand coming from the cold water, this room temperature water would feel hot. Try it for yourself. The hand coming out of the very hot tap water, the room temp water would feel cold. Well, what are the implications of this for us? Turns out, I think, let me, let me make a suggestion here. See what you guys think. When we say that something is cold, that means it's taking thermal energy from us. We are losing thermal energy to it. When we say that something is hot, it's transferring thermal energy to us. We already established, at least I hope we've already established at this point, that thermal energy travels from the higher temperature objects to the lower temperature objects. So that's why making your hand clearly lower than room temperature, then putting your hand into that room temp water, thermal energy transfers to there, this feels hot. Whereas you make a, another bucket, you make your hand very, very hot, put it in the, in the room temperature water, thermal energy will travel from your hand to that bucket, therefore this bucket will feel cold. It's an interesting conundrum. And yeah, I'm gonna use a hot and cold for temperatures but remember, when we say something is hot, it probably tells us more that it's transferring thermal energy to us. And when we say something is cold, it probably means it's transferring thermal energy from us. And that's our big thought for the day.